Hey guys, welcome back to the public side of Cruise Casino Mafia's YouTube channel. So this is an interesting video. Um, I've always told everybody on this channel as well as privately that, you know, my eyes are always open. I'm always interested in seeing what other people are doing. We're always open-minded to see new ideas and concepts. And what happens a lot of times is that we'll see something pretty interesting. And maybe we don't like the money management, or maybe we feel that there needs to be some filters or tweaks. But the concept originally is pretty cool, and then we make it our own. And I highly suggest other people that enjoy the casino space to look at everything they see in this in that same way. You may not like something, but there may be a spark. There may be some type of innovation or something that makes sense to you. Don't throw something away that you see just because the whole package is not perfect. So today is one of those days where um, I watched uh, a video and this is a brand new video from another channel, and I'm going to show you. You guys all know this channel, or if you not, if you don't, then maybe you don't like roulette. Maybe that's why you don't watch that channel. But he's a big time player on the YouTube space, a really nice guy, and every single day he puts out a new video with a system, not his system, but system that was sent in by a subscriber. So you guys know who I'm talking about, our buddy over here from Roulette Master channel, right? The Roulette Master. So every day at 8 o'clock, he puts out a new system. Some of these are interesting. Some of these are horrendous. And he never claims that they're all great. But the fun is watching these systems that come in, all right? He has a huge subscriber base. At this point, he has 48,000 subscribers. I believe I started watching his channel and checking it out when he had two to 3,000 subscribers way back when. So today, and this is the name of the video. This just came out. Unbeatable Roulette Pro Unlimited is groundbreaking. All right. So let me tell you something first so you understand the way it works. What he does is he shows two systems, almost like a challenge. So he shows a system that he's already shown for the first 15 minutes. And then he shows the new subscriber system in the last 15 minutes. So today he showed something for roulette. He only does roulette, okay, in the second system, all right? And I found it really intriguing, okay? I have not done any testing on this yet. So I want you guys to know that I'm throwing this out there. This is kind of like a casino lab when we put those little notes where it's something that we're working on. Well, I thought, why not include you guys in this interesting little twist? So the second system, and you have to watch his video. So go to the Roulette Master and you can, you can watch this video. The first, the first um, system he shows is a total bust, which is funny because it's one of the best systems that he uses all the time. It just happened to have one of those piss poor days but it actually is a winning system for them, usually. But it's the second system, the new system of the day, that I want you to watch. So he uses this system, and he uses it on the even money bets. All right? And it, it's, it's quite interesting. But what I got out of it was that I want to tweak it, and I want to see what it would do as a Baccarat system. So here's the deal. Here's the little secret I can tell you guys that I don't think I've really mentioned much publicly. There are many times that I will find a system that people are playing games with, with roulette. Now, they can only be the even money-based systems, right? Even money-based systems. And if it's something unique or if it has an interesting progression, if it works here on roulette with the zeros, what do you think it possibly can do in Baccarat where we don't have the negativity of the zeros crushing us? So I'm just giving you a little hint there, okay? All right. So my brain, after watching this new system, went right to this interesting thought because this guy is doing something, the subscriber that sent it in, 
It may work really good for roulette. I don't know. I don't know. It worked good in the video. I haven't done any testing. Um, so you guys can do that. But I thought, wow, the core concept of it is very interesting, and it would probably work even better with Baccarat. So watch this, and now I'm going to tell you what it is and, and the way that it works. So let's, let's do a quick rundown of the basic idea of what happened here with roulette. So this uh, subscriber system is looking at the board, right, the roulette board, and is looking for uh, the last few results, and they have to be consecutive, and he's looking for a streak. Now, some of you may know that months ago, I did some really powerful videos on streak busting, okay? And I think it was on roulette. I don't think it was Baccarat. I think it was definitely roulette. So I love streak busting concepts. Well, this is a very different way of streak busting, and I think it's really original and creative. So not only is he looking to bust the streak, but wait until you hear about the way that the money progression or the way that he handles the money a little bit. So here, so like for argument's sake here, you see that there's three black, uh, there's three black numbers. So the butts this streak, he would go with a red as his next bet, right? If there were two blacks here, Okay, and there was only, there was no other streak using all the different even money bets. If the, the only streak that was here was the two, two blacks, he would still be going with the red. But in roulette, we have other opportunities instead of just bank or player. So like here, let's say the third one wasn't black, so there wasn't three in a row. Let's say it was just these two. These two numbers are over are in the 19 through 36, right? 19 through 36. So if that's what all what was there, they would be two in a row over 19 through 36. He would be betting for the street to bust by betting one through 18. Does that make sense? Same thing with the even odds. So let's say these were two evens or even three evens. He would be betting on odd. Okay, so that's pretty easy, right? You're looking for the streak. But here's the interesting thing, right? Sometimes you're going to see a streak of two of the same thing. Sometimes you're going to see a streak of three to, of the same thing that needs to be busted. And sometimes you're going to see a streak of four to be busted, right? That's what you're going to see, all right? So what this guy is doing is not only looking at that and saying, that I'm betting that I have a better chance of the streak busting using sequential math, right? And we're not going to get into that, okay? And those people that say, well, the, the spin of the roulette wheel, everyone is independent, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we already know that, okay? You don't have to give me the high, the high flute math because there's other math other than that. And there is math behind sequential math. So if you don't believe that, don't believe it, all right? But the odds are always better. They're streak busting odds. Okay, streak busting odds. Three in a row, four in a row, whatever. Okay. Do if you don't believe it, don't believe it. All right. So here's the unique thing that I have not seen before, which is really cool. So what he's doing is basing his base basing his base bet. That sounds crazy. Determining his base bet on the number, how many are in the streak as what his base bet is. Never seen that before, okay? So let's. So when you watch the video, you're going to see that if there's two in a row, which is normally what you're going to see, right? Two in a row of whatever it is, even, odd, whatever, and you're looking to bust that streak, if, you're, if your base bet is $10, your first bet is going to be $10, Okay, if it's a streak of three blacks like this, then your base bet is going to be $20, all right? If the streak is four, let's say they're all four red here, okay? Or there was another black here. Let's say it's another black here, right? So you're going to be betting red. 
you're going to be betting your base bet is three units or $30. Does everybody understand that? I have never seen that before. We've had lots of interesting street buster concepts, but that's not, that's not something I've seen. So I think it's fascinating and very, very interesting concept. So let's take a look and let's jump over here to Baccarat, right? And let's just, let's not worry about the money management at the moment. When you watch the video, you're going to see that what, what he did, um, and it's very viable, okay? You know me, it's a little bit too aggressive for me, probably, all right? Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it up. There's no doubt about it uh, when I do more testing. But they were doing a double up. So let's go back there for a minute. So let's say that here you are. Here's the three, right? So, in, so you would be betting 20 instead of 10 as your base bet, right? Because there's three. So he'd be betting on red for 20, all right? And if it lost, he would double up and go to 40, right? And if that lost, he would double up and go to 80, okay? And I think at that point, uh, you'll watch the video. It was very interesting. What he did at that point was if, um, I believe it's if he, if he lost at the 80 bet, they would then uh, do one more 80 bet to see if they won. And if they, and if they, if that second 80 bet won, uh, and they were in profits still overall in the session or whatever at session, you know, the session high, whatever, um, they would go back and revert to the, you know, to the next spin and look for the next one and go back to the base bet level, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, if he won, right. But if it lost, then they would, then they would start doing what we do a lot of times, which is going into a ladder. So they would go back and reverse now from the 80 back to the first 80, you know, back to the 40 and go down until, um, until they won. Okay. So I'm not sure that that money progression is something I would use or not. You'll watch the video, you determine it. But the, but the key here is the amount in the, in the consecutive streak is determining the base bet for that specific starting bet. And I thought that was really cool. So let's take a look. So let's go ahead and throw out here. Uh, you have to have something to start with, as we already know, right? So let's go ahead and, and throw these out, right? So here we already see, right? So in, in Baccarat, we don't have to look at, 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 at six different things. There's only one thing. There's only either a banker or a player streak, right? So we have a two player streak going on here, right? So basically what would happen is that would signal us to go player, right? So we would go out here and do our base bet of $10 on player. And we'd lose. Now, if we use their money management, and again, I'm not showing this to you for the progression. What would end up happening next was they would now do a $20 bet, okay? All right, hold on, I'm sorry guys, let me turn this off. Okay, so that's a tie. And again, if it was a zero, we would have lost. So here we go, we're gonna repeat and we're gonna deal. And we win, all right? So that's done. That's done, right? That's done. So now we need to look and see if there's another consecutive streak. There isn't right now, right? Because we have a banker and we have a player. So you're going to have a lot more of this happen when you're going to take free bets in Bakra because there isn't as many even money bets, right? So we're going to just deal. And I'm going to wait for the next streak to be busted. And there we go. There's a two banker, right? There's a two banker. So if you use the same logic, it's two in a row, right? So we're going to now go out and we're going to do the, to bust the streak on the player this time. So we're going to go out and it, since it's only two in a row, we're going to do a banker bet. 
Okay, it loses. So we do the double up. At least that's what he was doing, right? All right, and we do it again. So now we're at 40. Okay, and we win. All right, so here we go again. And I'm using this, by the way. I'm using the bead road. It doesn't matter. You can look at it any way you want. So look at this situation. All right, look at this. So now we basically have, again, there's no, there's no streak here, right? There's no streak. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're just going to deal. Player, banker, right? Nothing. And we're going to deal. Banker. Nothing. Deal. Player. So we have a player base. So it's keeping us out of these chops because there's no streak. Okay? And that's the difference between Baccarat and Roulette because of all the even and the odd and the high and the low and everything else. So let's keep going. Okay, player and player, right? Two players. So here we go. So let's go ahead and we're going to bet banker because we're busting the streak and we're back at the $10 level because it's only two in a row. And we win. Here we go. Here we go again, right? There's nothing to bet on. Banker, banker, two bankers. So we're going to go back out there and we're going to be betting against player for the streak buster. It's a tie, we repeat. And it's a win. All right. So nothing to bet on. We deal. Player. Okay, two players in a row. We're going to go on banker for a base bet of 10. It loses, right? So we're going to go back out there and we're going to do our double 20. And it wins. All right. So again, it's chopping, right? It chopped. So we're not going to do anything. So let's deal. And we're up five units, by the way. All right. All right. So which doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're just playing with this. We're just testing it. All right. Nothing to do here. Right. Nothing to do. It's a chop. This system avoids the chops, avoids the chops completely, which is, by the way, for our private members is completely opposite than uh, some of the systems we've been showing you on the private side. So this is a unique, different kind of way of looking at things. So that's nothing going on there, right? So here we go. Okay, player, player, all right? So let's go on banker again. All right, we have to double up. That was uh, 20, so now we're at 40, which again, this is, you know the way I feel about the straight double up deal. I'm just doing it the way they were doing it. Okay, we won. So we've never had to go above that bet. So we haven't really seen, you know, that ladder scenario that he's showing because we don't have to do that. We haven't had to do that here yet. All right. We're up six units. All right. So here we go. So again, it's a chop. We're not, we're not going to put any money out there. All right, banker, banker, banker. So we're going to go out on player to beat the streak. And we beat it. Chop. Banker. Nothing. We're chopping here, right? player. See how we're avoiding the chops, the opposite of what some of our systems do. So this is another way of playing. It's pretty cool to see the opposite side of what you've been doing lately, right? This is avoiding the chops and waiting for, well, actually, 
yes, it's, it's keeping us out of the chops as our base bet. But we are streak busting. All right, so here we go. So what happened here? This is nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Banker. Another chop. We're still in a chop. Banker, banker. Right? Banker, banker. Banker, banker. Here we go. So we're going to go back out there. Banker, banker. We're on player. Not bad. We're up eight units right now. Okay, so, so the point is, do you see how you can take things that people are doing in, in roulette that you find interesting and you can tweak them and convert them over to here? Now, we haven't done much of any converting, right? We're playing it almost the same way because we wanted to just get a vibe or a feeling for it first. So this is a chop. Forget about it. We're up eight units. Player. Player, player. So that means we're going to be on banker for our base bet of 10. Okay, we win. Chopping. Deal. All right, banker. So we have two bankers in a row. We're going to go player. We lose. We're going to do the double up that he does or that they were showing. We lose. That was at 20, so now we're at 40. Okay, we lose. That's the first time we've lost at the 40 level. So now we're going to do 80. Now this is where I probably would not be doing this. I would probably have started the ladder or doing something else here. I probably wouldn't go up like this. Um, it's not my style. Let's put it that way. But let's do it anyway. Okay. We lost at 80. See, that this is why this type of money management is not my kind of deal. But let's just follow the, follow the road here, right? So we're going to do another 80 bet, the second 80 bet. And it loses, all right? So, well, I think he went up one more. So just for the hell of it, let's do it. So we're going to do the 160, which is definitely not something I would be doing. And that's why, okay? So now we won't go up any higher than 160, right? So now we're going to go back down to the, to the second 80 bet. I think that's what, what they were doing. And again, this is not my style. Okay. So there's the there's the 80 bet. All right. Now, I don't remember if they were to continue to go down. I think I think because he's not up, I think they would go down. Um, I think they would repeat the bet. You know what? I don't remember. All right. Well, we're still down, right? We're still down here. Okay. So we won. So we're going to go back to the 40 bet now. And by the way, I did screw up because I think you were supposed to look for the next bet. You weren't supposed to stay on that. You were supposed to look for the next streak. But we'll just stay here for the moment. Okay. All right. That's the 40. All right. So probably screwed that up royally, but wanted to get a vibe. This is how you test. You have to figure out, forget about the money. When you're testing the bet selection concept, you've got to look at it by itself and not worry about the money. I probably should have just done this flat betting, which is what I usually do when I'm looking at something. So Here's the first thoughts that I would have for anybody that wants to do any crazy testing with this. So the first thing you notice is that every time we jumped in, it was always on a streak of the two, right? Because we never got to the three in a row. 
Now, the reason we never got to the three or the four in the row is because we don't have multiple things going on here in Baccarat, right? The same way that we do in roulette, because in roulette, you have, you know, you're going to take the one that has three in a row. And sometimes there's only two in a row. And sometimes it's magically going to come out four in a row. So what we've already learned, right? What you've learned here is that that doesn't really happen because we're busting streaks and the streaks that we're getting in on are only going to be the two. So there is a difference between what they showed and what we can do here. All right. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the streak busting that we used to do is probably the only way to convert that type of concept over to here. Because we're only waiting for the streak, it's always going to be the two. So let's, let's see if I can restart this and get a new shoe. All right, so we know that it doesn't convert over exactly, right? So now let's take a look at a different way of using a streak buster. Since that didn't really work out the way that we wanted it to. Okay, so we have player. Let's deal. Okay. So the other way of playing a streak buster in Baccarat is a little different. Okay, there's no streak here, right? Let's look at it on the big board. We're chopping here, right? So let's go ahead and deal. It's a tie. So we're just going to repeat. It's a player. Wow. Still chopping, right? Banker. Look at this. Starting out with all chops. Okay. Did it break? It still didn't break. Okay. It broke. So there you go. So now, for players that have been around me for a while... You'll recognize the fact that the way that we look at this is different than the roulette, right? I showed you that it doesn't really work the same here because we don't get streaks of, if we're going to bet the first streak of two, then we're always going to be on the streak of two. We're never going to see the three or the four, right? So the interesting thought process here could be this. You see this as a chopped shoe so far right? So what you can do, and the, again, this is not a system. This is us discussing this. You can make the determination here that so far we haven't had any long streak. This is the longest we've gone, okay? So the way that we would play something like this in Baccarat is you could do a couple of different things, and you can still incorporate the interesting math from the other video. So if you decided you were going to play the two drop for the bust, you could play every two drop if you wanted to play a two drop at the base level, right? So let's just let's just go ahead and see what happens, right? Forget about the money, right? Okay, player 1. So it's still streaking it's still streaking, right? But now you have the three drop, right? So there's a couple of different things you can do here. If you played the two drop, you're going to figure out whatever progression you want to use now since you lost and you're on the three drop, right? 86 or 87% of all Baccarat shoes will end with the three drop. They don't go past there. 87% of the drops, I should say, end with this or a two drop or a three drop. Okay. So just like in roulette, the odds are that this is going to chop the odds. That doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? So you can look at this now and say on a two drop, um, I'm betting one unit on a three drop. I'm going to bet let's say um, two units or three units, whatever you want to do. So you're doing something similar to the other concept, right? 
So let's see if this continues. And it does. It made it to the four drop, right? So let's see where this streak ends. It does not end. It ends. Okay. So here's the thought process. And again, I'm giving you things to test and play with. I'm not giving you a system today, right? So if you want to look at that roulette concept, you can, you can do a whole bunch of different things. And I'm going to tell you the interesting thing is this. If you want to do something similar to what they did in roulette, this is the way you would have to do it. Let's, wa let's watch this. Okay, let's wait for the next streak. Okay, that's a tie. Player, we're waiting for a streak. Tie. Banker. Man, this, this shoe is really chopping, huh? Okay, still chopping. Wow, that is some hell of a board, huh? Okay, all right. So this is what this is the way that you can use something similar in Baccarat, right? Not what we showed you before because it didn't work because we were always in on a two drop, right? All right. Well, this is an interesting thought process if you're a patient player. If you're not a patient player, then this ain't gonna work for you, all right? So here's our two drop. Forget about what's happened, right? Here's our two drop. We can decide before we start playing the shoe that we're gonna, we're gonna start our sequence with a two drop. We can even have the flexibility to say no we're not going to start our sequence until there's a three drop. But let me show you from the basic point of view something interesting. Okay, watch this. And I'm not telling you this is great, this is bad. This is an idea that you can, that you can test. So we're determining pre-shoe that our first bet is going to be on a, on a two drop sequence buster. So we're going to now be betting player. So let's just throw out. Let's, uh, let's go um, player, and we're just going to throw $10 out there on player, okay? We win. So it won, right? Now, watch this. We're going to deal, but this time, watch what we're going to do. There's another two drop. So in this new concept, this new bet selection, if we won on the last two drop, we can re we can go back in the sequence and bet on the next two drop. Now, if you don't want to play it that way, you can wait in the sequence where you will not make another bet until there's a three drop. See what I'm doing? I hope you guys are catching on to this little sneaky maneuver. All right. So let's, let's use the rule for now that we're going to, because we won, we're going to be willing to bet on the next two drop. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to look for the bust again, and we're going to bet banker again for it to chop. And we win. Interesting, huh? Interesting. So now we have to wait for another streak player. This is some choppy shoe player. Okay, there it is. So now, if we're going to follow rule A, we won both times. So if we're going to follow the rule A, because we won the last one, we're going we're gonna to go back in the sequence here. If you're going to follow the rule B way, we wouldn't have played 
either of these because we're waiting for a three drop to play. You understand? You can play it either way. It's up to you. We'll go ahead because we won these two and play once again the two drop. And we're going to play banker. We want it to chop to banker. And we win. See what's happening here? All right. So let's look for the next one. Banker. Another two drop. Right? So are we going to play this two drop again? We'll do We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll rule we'll use our testing rule A. If we won the last two drop, we set we reset. So here's what we're gonna do. What was that? That was a um banker. We need to be on player, so we'll play it. So we're winning all the chops on the two drop. So we have to wait again for a drop. So this is the way to kind of play it in Baccarat. The same type of system. Look at these two drops. Is that crazy or what? What a wild shoe this is. Okay, so here we go again. So this is player. Now, we don't care about the money. We're up like four units. Who cares? So this is what we're going to do. This time, I'm going to show you the other way, right? Let's show you rule B scenario, where we only play after, after playing a two drop. We'll only play a three drop. So this time, let's play it the other way just for just to show you. So we're not going to play the two drop because now we're on the three drop part of the sequence. So let's let this one go and see what happens. See what happened? We would have lost, but that doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. So now let's say we were here and we won or any of these, whatever that we won, and we were following the sequence. We won a two drop, and now we're only gonna play a three drop. So here it is. So this would have been our second bet. We would have waited through this, right? So here we go. So now there's a three drop. So now we're gonna do our streak buster here, and we're gonna bet for banker. And we lose. Okay. Now, we're not going to make another bet here if we use this type of scenario. We're going to wait. We're going to wait, right? We're going to wait for the next three drop to jump in. We lost this three drop. So we're going to wait for another three drop. All right. So this is an interesting way of looking at things. It's just a unique way of taking what they were doing and kind of evaluating how to play that, all right? So by the way, by the way, here's the other money management thing. So what they would have done is they would now double up on the next one because they lost on the three drop. Let's just say they were at the $10 bet level. So now they, they would wait for another three drop because they didn't win at the three drop level. At least that's the way I would convert this over, right? So you did not win the three drop bet. So you're going to wait for another three drop, but the next time you're going to make whatever progression you decide to use. So now we have to wait for another three drop. So let's see what happens. So it's, it's interesting. It requires a lot more work than we've done, right? But we're just playing with it to kind of get a vibe for things. Okay, we need one more of these to have another three drop. And there it is. Okay, so there's our three drop opportunity again so that we can move up the level to go to a four drop, right? So we're going to now bet player. We're going to now bet player. So let's just throw 20 on player. Forget about the money. It's a tie. We're going to bet it again. And we win. Okay. So do you see how we're incorporating what they were doing over here? The rules aren't solid yet. That's for damn sure. But we're testing. All right. So now you've won your three bet. Okay. So here's another thing to think about. 
you're not going to get that many chances on a streak of four in every shoe, right? You're not going to get that many chances. If you want to be conservative, the conservative play is still wait for the four. Still wait for the four. Don't do anything until the four, right? That's the next one in the sequence. And then you would restart with looking for a two again. Okay? If you're more of an action player and you don't want to wait for a four drop because you don't know when that's going to happen, you can go one through three. Now, let me tell you what happens if you do one through three. It's pretty interesting because we already know 86, 87% of all drops don't go beyond the three. Uh-huh. Are we going to get a little more action? Yes. So what I would think of doing for two reasons, for the reason I just gave you, is I would not go to the four. You know when I would use the four streak? When I'm already up enough units in the shoe that I want to hang on to those units and play sparingly up until hand 60, 60 or 65 maximum. So I may be sitting at the table and I've already made my four to six units or seven units, whatever it is that I made, three, four units, whatever. And I'm done because I'm already up to here. Half of the shoe, for me, half of the shoe is like 30, 35. So maybe now I would convert if I won the three streak into waiting for only a four drop to play, okay? But the other way of doing this is to not go to the four. The sequence is only a two drop, a three drop, win, and then go back and wait for the two drop, right? Or you can do the two drop, you win. You go to the three drop, you win. You wait for the four drop, that's it, all right? Either way, it is what it is. So let's take a look at a few more of these hands. Okay, we've got a player. So we've got another two drop, right? So if we played only to win the three drops, we would be back in here, right? But let's see out of curiosity how this plays out. And let's also see if we get our opportunity on a four drop. Forget about the bet. Okay, so the two drop would have lost here if we restarted, right? If we restarted. And what if we were waiting for the four drop? We, would, we wouldn't have lost anything here in this specific situation. Just this situation. I'm not giving you a generalization. So now let's see if we get our opportunity to jump in on the four drop if we use the conservative method. And we did not. We did not. It jumped over. Okay? It jumped over after the three drop. So let's see what happens. Let's let's just take a look, right? We're chopping. That's another banker. Chopping. Okay. So there's a two drop, right? Let's see if we get a bigger drop here. We do not. And that makes sense, right? Because we said 87% of whatever of these stay within the three as the most, right? So this is what you're going to see most of the time. We already know the odds on that, right? We already know the odds on that. And by the way, there's a lot of people that will tell you that what they do is they only wait for a two drop and then they bet for the chop over three times, let's say, a maximum of three bets. Some people, if you want to do the same thing conservatively, they will wait for the three drop and bet for the chop. Okay, now what we're doing is trying to convert over the roulette system of having a different base bet different starting point base bet based on the drop. So what I'm that's all we're looking at in this video is that intriguing concept of changing the base bet based on the number in the streak, okay? So I don't want to get anybody too confused, all right? 
So let's see if we do get that force force uh, four drop or not. Nope. Okay, there's another two drop. Let's see if it chops over. It chops over. So if you were only playing two drops, you'd be winning, right? We want a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of these, but that's not the point. All right, so we're just looking to see if this sequence or waiting for a longer streak has any impact. Nothing. This has been somehow of a chop shoe. Wow. All of our uh, private systems that use these short chops would have made a killing in this in this shoe, by the way, for private members. Any of those short chop systems would have just blown this out of the water. Okay, so there's a three drop. So let's see what happens here. Oh, there it is. So you would have won back here. Remember, we won our three right? And if we would have used system number two and been conservative, we would have been patient and waiting and waiting. And here it is. Let's see what happens. So obviously we're betting for the streak buster, which is the player now, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, it would have lost, right? Would have lost. Let's see how long this goes. Wow. Still going. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. That busted it. There you go. So so the streak lasted a little bit longer there. So it would have lost. So the bottom line is what they were doing here was really interesting because there's a whole bunch of ones that you're looking for to bust, right? You're still making only one bet, but there's a variety of ones to look at as opposed to what we have. Okay, as to what we have here. So is there something interesting here? I think there is. How to play it requires a little bit more due diligence. Okay. I do think there's a way, because it's very similar to stuff that we've already that we already do. Right? You know, waiting for the drops, busting the streaks. We've done that before. But the money management of starting at a different base bet versed on the size of the streak is what's intriguing to me. You may want to test. You may want to play with it. See what you guys think. If it ends up that this is something that we want to play around with more, we'll do a bigger deep dive into converting this over to Baccarat. I just wanted to open the door today. Go ahead and watch Roulette Master's video. Watch this. And by the way, if you're a roulette player, um, here's my suggestion to you. Bet selection, very good. Money management, not so great. Utilize some of the money management that we've been teaching you guys, the slower methodical bet selections, and it'll be even better and a lot more, a lot less volatile. Okay, so the double up nonsense is not something we would do, right? Do one of the slower crawl bets, uh, money managements that we've been showing on this channel. And if you're a private member, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the ones we've been showing you as well. So that's it for today. Interesting concept. Converting it over is going to require a little bit more effort and testing. But I think there's something interesting here to play with. I really do. So check it out. Shout out to Roulette Master and the subscriber that sent in this really interesting roulette system. Go watch it. Play with it with roulette. Tweak the money management. And then take a look at some of the ideas that I've shown you as to how potentially you can convert this over. And we'll talk about it again in the near future. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. And by the way, if you want to join us, uh, for all the hundreds of private ideas and systems, just go check out cruisecasinomafia.com. We only have about, about a month left of the lifetime membership deal that we're offering with the promo code MAFIA and the number 50. 
after that, we're going up. The price is definitely going up. So we'll speak to you later. We'll see you on the next video.